Blocked and damaged roads still a concern this morning for people living along the Blanco River in Hayes County. And that's why the Wimberley School District there has decided just to cancel class altogether again today. Alicia Inns is live in Wimberley where the search continues, Alicia, for nearly a dozen people. Good morning, Kate and Sally. Gosh, I will tell you on the drive out here, it was just amazing to see the debris, the amount of devastation that has washed up onto the roadways. We did want to stop in this area, a spoke lane in Wimberley. This car completely washed up. It is just a sight to see this car, broken windows, trees in the area as well, just stuck like this. There's a tree underneath the car just goes to show you it was washed upon these trees and then the road down this area if we're going to zoom and show you just because the amount of debris couch I'm talking couches people's front doors their refrigerators are out in the streets on the sidewalk even in the neighbors front yards just goes to show you how much damage that this storm really did it feels almost eerie out here how quiet it is given the amount of damage and devastation in just the last few days from these storms but you know hayes county did release photos of the 11 men women and children that were last seen swept up in the blanco river and as the floodwaters start to recede things start to dry out a bit search crews are really working around the clock to find the people who have been reported missing now authorities are asking wimberley landowners that are living along the river to allow access to the search crews so they can get in and they're also requesting them to provide any property details that could really help speed up the search a command center has been assigned with 250 volunteers and they've divided up into 22 different search teams to help in this and they're going to continue to check vehicles and thrift sift through debris to find the survivors but you know more than 60 homes out here were lifted off their foundations swept away almost in these rushing waters and we actually talked to one man whose home was destroyed at first it's kind of a shock i mean because we never thought this could happen we got water in the house i'm talking about six inches of water in 2001 you know went in cleaned it up you know went back to work and we always thought that that's kind of the worst that could happen to us. But we never, ever dreamed that we could lose our whole house. And uh, all the pictures in there of being here for 23 years and collages, you know, on the wall. Pretty devastating stuff to hear, that's for sure. Now back out here in Wimberley, you can just see the amount of debris left from some of these homes. Um, and I actually just talked to a neighbor who came over and told me he actually went into one of these homes to help the people get out and the water was up to their waist. They had to walk out and wade through the water. He also told me, you know, the cleanup through all this debris along the fence, everything in people's yards could take weeks. It could take months, but he said that the impact from all of this could last forever because they found its park nearby. He said will never be the same. The trees have been destroyed. The rocks have been moved. Things that can't be put back in place or rebuilt like that. Uh, just something you could tell he was a bit shaken up and I'm sure that's the same sentiment for all these neighbors out here as the cleanup starts, especially today. Sally and Kate, I'll send it back to you. Alicia Inns live for us in Wimberley. Alicia, thank you for that perspective of everything that's left behind.